Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization here with Joey Satmary of Sat Strength. Check him out on YouTube. Today, he will be surviving one of our back and bicep sample workouts. This is the best he's gonna look this entire time. So the workout is going to be flexion rows, which are super interesting exercise. We're gonna show you how to do those. He's gonna do them. Then a pull down drop set, then cable curls, and then a cable curl drop set. Back check, biceps check. This workout is called Jayani. Who the hell is that? It's a very famous Arabic mathematicians and one of the inventors of algebra. We couldn't do these workouts without naming them after nerd shit. Folks, let's watch Joey almost die. The first exercise today is gonna to be flexion rows. We'll show you in a bit how this works. It's basically a barbell row, but with added emphasis on the erector muscles and a very, very strict technique. We're gonna do five sets of those rows. It's gonna be fucking brutal. Remember, if you're just starting this workout out for yourself, do a few less sets. We're gonna be going a peak week workout, five sets all the way to failure. Let's warm up, show the technique, and get to it. Arch, pause, and down, very good and arch and pause, and down, very good, stay a little lower at the top, yes, perfect, and then chest up, and control. All right, folks, so we're doing five sets of flexion rows. The rep range is gonna be between 10 and 20 reps per set on, on first set, and then all the other sets, it's just gonna be whatever as far as when failure is, as far as fatigue kicking in. So probably you want in your own training for this to start out, around 15 reps, maybe a little north of 15, and then see where you go with fatigue. Here's the deal. Joey is using 105 pounds. Actually, I take that back. This is a female bar. This is like 90 pounds or something like that. It's a very, very low weight. He is a professional strongman. My back is, as you folks might have seen in Instagram posts, not average size. I use 110 pounds or something like that just because I've been doing these longer. You're not gonna use 150, 180 pounds on this. It's a super lightweight exercise. You're gonna focus on technique and you're gonna find out that you need to use barely any weight to fry the shit out of your back. Let's do it. Not enough arch, more arch and down slow. Good. And arch, keep your hips high so you can stretch at the bottom. Stretch your shoulders, excellent arch. The key on these flexion rows is to make sure that you move from a position of flexion into a position of extension, pause and hold at the top. If you're no longer, if at the top of these things, you're just here, you're not here, and you still touch, that's not credit, that's not a real rep. So in these flexion rows, you start out with a rounded back, arch completely. Notice my hips aren't moving, just my spine is articulating. That's it. And you could say, but that's not enough weight for the lats. The purpose of this is to train the lats a little bit, and a lot of the other back musculature, but mostly the spinal erectors. The lats are not the only part of the back. We'll train the lats in the next exercise, as you guys will see. Down slow, big arch. Arch, and hold, stay lower. I want an arch, but stay lower. Yes, there you go, arch. <laughs> Very good. Big arch, go, arch, 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 arch. And down, and one more, hold for two seconds at the top. Arch, hold, and slow, stretch, that's it. Very good. <laughs> Feel that in the rectors? Oh, Very good. Yeah, Very good. Perfect. We're done with rows. The back's super pumped up. Now it's time for pull downs, but here's the kicker. It's a drop set, which means we start with a weight we can do, oh, for roughly a set of 15 reps. And then every time we rest for like maybe five or six seconds, we change the weight down to a lower weight. And we're going to do that a total of six times. Holy crap. Six total sets of drop sets. It's gonna blow the lats through the roof. If you don't have a set of Versa grips or at least straps, don't try this at home because your grip is gonna limit you before your lats do in most cases. Get yourself some Versa grips or get some straps and do this the right way. We're gonna warm up first and then probably only need one set to warm up because the back's already warm from the rows. Then we're gonna get kicking. And try touching your chest every time. How do you know when you failed on pull downs? First of all, always strict technique. If you have to cheat, you have already failed. Number two, do you have to touch your chest every time? Most people can, most people are flexible enough, but in Joey's case, he's fucking enormous, so he might be so muscle bound that he can't actually touch his chest. That's okay. He can always go to a standardized 
depth, a standardized range of motion. For him, it's gonna be below his chin. If he gets the bar below his chin, that's a success for up. As soon as he's so tired that he can't do that without cheating, the set is over. So for you, I would recommend touch every time. And if you can't touch with good technique, the set is over. If you can't touch for even a single rep to your chest, then I would say pick something standard, like just under your chin, go from there. 16, good technique. 17, full stretch. 18, low. 19, last one. 20, beautiful. Very good, relax for just a second. So we started at 160, we're gonna take a five second break, 150, then 140, so on and so forth. Hit it. Four, come on now. Five, time to dig. Six, two more. Seven, low. Eight, excellent, very good. Six, no cheating. Seven, give me one more, last one, go. Yes, perfect. Three more sets left, doing great. Five full seconds, breathe it out. Feel your lats a little bit there? <laughs> Good stuff. Six, hold out hard. Seven, technique. Eight, good, very good. Second to last, take a little breather. Five, lower. Six, two more. Seven, no cheating. Eight, awesome, awesome, awesome. Last one. Folks, for this one, we're gonna do a little trick and we're gonna drop it a little bit lower, two rungs lower than planned, just for that extra high rep, extra burn, mess them up really good. And we're gonna rest just a little longer before the set, maybe about 20 to 30 seconds, really get his energy back up and make sure the muscle is a limiting factor. Nine, 10, stretch, but don't let go. Three, go. 11, all the way down, 12, down, 13, stretch, two, go, 14, 15, stretch, two, go, 16, all the way down, 17, more, go, 18, let's get it, 19, last one, 20, awesome, that's it, very good, very good, very good. We're done with back, time for biceps. We got two biceps exercises. It's really the same exercise, just two different approaches, two different rep ranges. The first one is going to be cable curls, but for strict sets of five to 10 reps per set. It's probably gonna start closer to 10, that fatigue take us to five, that's gonna be four sets. After that, we have six drop sets. Same exercise, but we start with a lighter weight, 10 to 20 reps on the first set, let fatigue take over, about five to 10 second breaks between mini sets. We're gonna crush it. Joey's biceps are either gonna explode off of his body, rendering him useless for the rest of his life, or he's gonna grow. We'll see which one it is. Stay tuned. Excellent, one, beautiful. Two. Three. Four. Five, slower. Up. Six, one last one. Go, 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 go. Slow. Beautiful, that's it. Joey's done doing his four sets of straight set curls, five to 10 rep range, really tough. He was using 150 pounds for that. Now that we're into the drop sets, different rep range, 10 to 20 in the first set, and he's fatigued. We're starting at 100 pounds, and we're going down from there. Very, very brief rests. Let's get into it. Folks, again, if you're starting doing this, do not do six drop sets for your biceps the first time. Do two or three, and then every week, you might be able to go up a set here, up a set there, and see how you do. 14, strict only. 15, keep going. We want more out of this. We're not here to not work. Good. Two more. Up. One, strict. And last one, up. Yes. Slow. Rack. Good job. 
Breathe. Range of motion. Five. Two more. Six. Come on. Yes. Slow. Very good. Six. Come on. Seven. More. Bonus round. Bonus round. Go. Eight. One last one. Make it good. Up, 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 up. Good. Four set. Four. Five. Two more. Two more. Come on, man. You showed up to work. Good. One more. Up. Slow. Good stuff. Two more sets. You're almost there. These are going to get real light. Grab it right now. Go. Up. Rest for a second. Don't rack. Don't rack. Two and you're done. Go. Ass. Let's go. One more. And up. And slow. Good job. Start right now. Ten must be done. Strict. Go, 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 go. No delay. Elbows in. Quality. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Awesome. Six. Big stretch. Seven. Eight. Nine. All the way up. Ten. We're going to true failure. More. More. Three. Go. One. Two. All the way up. Three. Rest. No, you're going nowhere. Three. Go. Right now. One. Slow. Up fast. Two. Slow. Up fast. Three. Keep going. No rest. Go. 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 Yes. Again. Strict. Again. Strict. Let's go. Again. Strict. Come on. Let's go. One more. Go. 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 Yep. And last one. Go. Up. Good technique. Up. And slow. Awesome. All right, now we get to do the Arnold thing. Ready? Fill in, you son of a bitch. Folks, if Joey dies later from rhabdomyolysis, I had nothing to do with it. Anyway, that's the workout. It's really hard. If you wanna try this workout, check out the description. Take the all the way to failure sets, make them two or three reps in reserve to start. Take the number of sets, cut it by half or two thirds or something. So if it's like six sets, start with three or four. And then over the weeks, add a little weight, reduce the proximity to failure, get closer to failure, and add a few sets as you're able to recover and adapt, right? We want a whole mesocycle of this kind of stuff, maybe even several, not all at once. So this workout is a peak week. We want you to start a little lower and work your way up. Thanks for tuning in. Joey, thanks for joining us. Good luck using your arms. See you guys next time.